Ladies and gentlemen, let me begin, first of all, by um, saying a small thank you. As we celebrate the wedding of our second daughter, Josla, and mine, I'd like to play a tribute to this country and its people for the friendship, generosity, and the warmth they brought to our family. Your love, support has made us the people we are today. Our special thanks go to the government of Uganda for all it has done to make a conducive environment for the business people to thrive. And especially to the president of Uganda and the NRM, uh, without whom it will not be possible. And uh, you know, when we came here with so little, would not have created the size, the scale, and the scope of the businesses we have now. Well, let me begin by extending a very warm welcome to my family, friends, relatives present here, both from Uganda and particularly those who have specially traveled from abroad to share with us this happy and joyous occasion of Shina and Jay's wedding. Ladies and gentlemen, permit me to specially acknowledge and welcome Jay's parents, uh, Jayant and Arti, <laughs> who are an amazing in-laws. I also want to recognize uh, the in-laws of my other daughter, Mira, Mr. Jagu Kotecha and his first lady. Welcome. You know, when you have two daughters, you've got to balance the... <laughs> As I look at this beautiful woman before me in the lovely wedding gown, I can't help but reflect on the little girl Shina was and the lady and the gorgeous bribe she has become. We always think of Shina as a little tomboy who had to always do better than her brother. And Rajiv uh, was born after two girls, so he sometimes got a more special consideration, which was always a topic of discussion with the girls. And, uh, and of course, the eldest daughter would come up and, and say to me, uh, who's your favorite daughter? Of course, you say, it's you. Then she now comes on side and says, Daddy, Daddy, so who's your favorite daughter? I said, You. <laughs> now, okay, Raji was not interested in all those. So, so really, it's difficult to say, and, and I need to be in the middle of both of them, you know. But I tried. Shina became Daddy's girl on the day she was born, um, and has always been a princess to me. Although I've thrown her in the pool, uh, in, in, in the <laughs> even, even she, she probably, in, you know, she loved cats, so I would get a cat and uh, you know, let her play with it. So she was when she was a baby. But there you go. She's, she's, uh, she's now grown to a young lady. She's brought joy to Joshua and me, and while not every day has been perfect, the world, the love I feel for has been. And yesterday, Shina has joined hands with Jay, a wonderful young man. And in addition to the sparkle I've seen in her eyes, today I see love, joy, and there beyond. Anything I've seen so far. Shina and Jay today, you've completed each other. And as you become a new family unit, so let me remind you that. Anyway, Jay promised me he's going to look after her. So. Coming together is the beginning. Keeping together is progress. Working together is a success. And Jay and Arti, I'm quite sure that she now will be a loving and caring daughter-in-law, devoted wife to Jay, and a wonderful mother to their children. I believe that as a father of the bride, I'm supposed to give tips or advice to newly wedded couple. I suppose they expect that as just now, and I've been married for nearly 40 years. I don't know how it lasted. <laughs> She's been good, but you know, men are vulnerable, as you all know, and gullible. But I've tried. And firstly, for you, Jay, I compile all the tips I can share with you in the book entitled How to Understand a Woman. Can anybody here help? 
this part one and the remaining nine parts will be delivered in your room as you may need to oh <laughs> jay and shina come and get your book please this is part 1 and part 9 mo nine more points will be delivered in your room as you may refer to them sorry for today please there you go <laughs> and and to and to shina to be fair there's also book for you how to understand a man and and the good news there's only one book i just want to thank all the people who are involved with helping uh, my wife joshna and uh, all the shina's friends and uh, the whole team But there's particular names I want to mention: Ravi Patel, Sanju Patel, Jayshree Patel, Hanish team, all the senior management managers, all these um, you know the, the waiting staff, all the cooks of Speak Resort Munyonyo. Thank you very very much. You've done a great job, and all the maintenance people. also for kabira country club same you know with the uh, you know with the managers with the um, waiting people with these uh, cooks and all the people who from kabira spend all the hours of the day without uh, making a bed first thank you furthermore uh, the staff from the ruparila group uh, kalolo half staff and team and uh, one very particular person sali parilai sali around <laughs> sali come here please come here this is a young man who's been you know with the parilai family for last 22 years he's part of a family all the keys of the house are with him and he gets one call from me one from raji from everybody and he makes sure he looks after us thank you very much it's been with us for the last 22 years thank you and lastly but least mr sunil who has been um catering during the weekdays for the um to all the guests from abroad who most of them are vegetarians so he's been uh, really making some good uh vegetarian food Now there's so many people I can't mention but I think the one or two people I like to particular mention who been burning a midnight candle with me Bob Cabanero and Andrew Mwenda thank you And and honestly I want to thank all of you you're all very special please don't be uh, don't think that you're in the front or back every person here is very very dear to us and thank you for being here tonight thank you okay i like to now ask my brother and my fellow chairman of kwagalana group uh, mr gotchu kumira